Hey everyone, in this video I will try to give you tips for buying a second Wii U for just homebrew since additionally having online gaming doesn't seem to work out on the same firmware. You might think that I'm crazy suggesting you to spend another 200 or 300 dollars on a second Wii U but you're mistaken. With my strategy you will only pay about 100 dollars and that's it. How you're wondering? Well, let me explain. First of all, you need to visit an online store like eBay. There, try to find offers for buying just the Wii U console itself without the gamepad or any Wii U game. This is important because you will be able to resync the gamepad on the new Wii U and also share your existing cables if needed. Remember that you will only be able to run a single Wii U at a time, but that works out for you, doesn't it? Once you found offers, they should be in the price range of below $100. The next step is to send the seller a private message asking which firmware the Wii U console has. Also make sure to explain them in the same message how to look it up. If the Wii U is new however, you need to ask when it has been bought instead. Once you know the date, you can check the Nintendo system menu update history in order to tell which firmware is probably pre-installed. You need to pay attention that it definitely is below the firmware you want to target because game discs can be used to install any newer firmware. The online updater however always gives you the latest version which you do not want. Keeping your firmware out of date on purpose means that you will have full access to all homebrew and exploits being made and released. As of now the best firmware to be on is 5.32 so find an offer that fulfills these requirements. Once you're pleased with your choice, buy the Wii U and wait a few days till it arrives. Configure it to your liking and connect it to the internet, but make sure that you can disallow internet access for certain devices in your router, such as your homebrew Wii U. Internet access management is done in the router administration interface and since everyone has a different router, you will have to figure out how to do it for the one you use. Finally, to verify that internet access is blocked on your Wii U, you can try to visit any website in the internet browser. It will fail with an error message by the router or something like that. You need to be connected to a network because you will be hosting browser exploits and similar on your computer so that the Wii U can use them. Blocking the internet connection fully makes sure that automatic updates won't be installed. Okay, that's it. If you have any further questions about this, feel free to comment. Other than that, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more Wii U homebrew news and tutorials.